Hello my dear students, today we are going to again begin with the topic Kingdom Animalia. In the previous lecture, I have told about the different kind of invertebrates that are Podifera, Nidaria, Platyelmethes, Nematyelmethes and Annelida. Now we are going to begin with the fur further with some another invertebrates. So now, the first invertebrate which we are going to talk about today that is Orthropoda. Orthropods, these are the animals which are called as jointed limbed animals. They are jointed limbed animals. It means they are going to have the legs or the limbs present in them. As I have told earlier that they are invertebrates. So all the invertebrates, those who have limbs, they have more than two pairs of limbs. It means three pairs or four pairs of limbs. So orthropods also are going to have more than two pairs of limbs. Either they have three pairs of the limbs or four pairs of the limbs or maybe more than that. So orthropods are the animals who, will, who are the most advanced kind of the invertebrates and they are found all over the world and millions of the orthropods we see around us. The orthropods are like mosquito, housefly, cockroaches, in spiders, daily we see them, right? They are the invert they are the orthropods who are invertebrates. The characters, some of the common features of the characters of the Orthropods are that they, they have head, they have thorax and they have abdomen. Head, you all know what is a head. But what is a thorax? Thorax is known to be the chest or the lung region where the lungs are present. The chest area is called as thorax and the abdominal area is the stomach area. So, they have head, thorax and abdomen. After this, they have a special feature. You must have seen a cockroach. Cockroach has a hard covering on top of it. Right, it is shiny, it is hard. So this hard covering is called as exoskeleton. In all the orthropods, a hard external covering is there which provides support and protection to their body. That is called as exoskeleton. Like we have the human beings or the mammals have the skeleton inside their body. We have a bony structure inside our body which provides support and protection to our body. Like that only. The orthropods have exoskeleton which is outside their body it is not made up of bone it is made up of a protein called as chitin and this protein or the chitin provide structural support to their body after this all the orthropods are going to have limbs present in their body and in their limbs joints are found that is why they are called as jointed also pose are part of many categories, many types. So they have been uh, classified into four classes. The first class which is given in your book is the class crustaceans. Next is class insect. The third one is class arachnid, and the fourth one is class mygopod. The first one you can see the class crustaceans. Crustaceans. What are crustaceans? You must have seen a uh, crab. You must have seen a lobster. The crab, the king crab, the lobsters, they are the crustaceans. These crustaceans, the prawn, these are the crustaceans. As you can see this in the image, this is a prawn which is a crustacean. In this prawn, the head and the thorax, it means the head and the chest area where the lungs are present. The chest and the head, these are fused together, means they are combined, they are combined together. So it's a pause. This is a head and suppose the second hand is a thorax. They both are fused together. So in the crustacean, head and thorax are combined or fused together. But the abdomen is separate. As you can see in this image, the head is fused with the thorax. We can't distinguish between the head and thorax. But the abdominal region is separate. You can see the prawn has many legs present in it. So they have the three to four pair of legs present in them. Some of the crustaceans may have the wings or some of them, mostly all the crustaceans don't have the wings present in them. Now the next insect. Insects are the 
most advanced kind of arthropods all the insects all the insects are going to have two pairs of the pink crescent in them whether it is ant whether it is butterfly whether it is a termite whether it is a mosquito all the insects are going to have pink crescent in them the insect have a special feature that they have three pairs of the legs present in their body three have three pairs of legs he was thinking about the ants and don't have uh, wings no ants also have wings but their wings appear when they get matured when they become adult then their wings appear in their body they also have two pairs of the wings present in them all the insects are going to have two pair of legs their body is distinguished into head thorax and abdomen and they have a special feature that is they have a pair of antennae present on their head mostly all the insects are going to have a pair of antennae you must have seen a butterfly butterfly in this image you can see this butterfly has thread like structure on the top of the head these are called as antennae their body is distinguished into head thorax and abdomen they have two pair of wings one two three four two pairs of their wings present in their body after this the next class is arachnids arachnids special one it, it constitutes the spiders spider is a member of class arachnid as you must have seen the spiders they have six pairs of appendages out of four out of which four are required for walking while two are not used for walking there in their body the head and thorax like the crustaceans only their head and thorax are also fused but abdomen is separate spiders have many legs present in their body they have how many legs they have six pairs of legs means 12 legs out of which Four pairs are utilized for walking for locomotion. Two pairs are not utilized for walking or locomotion. Two pairs of the legs are present at the head of the thorax region, while four are found in the abdominal region. And you can see this scorpion. This scorpion has the legs present in its body. Up to page, so you can see two are at the head rest three are there in the abdominal region so these two are not required for walking but the last three are used for walking so this is a arachnid arachnids have six pairs of the leg present in their body after this the last one is the myriapod myriapod you must have seen a centipede a millipede in your home these centipedes and millipedes they have many 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 segments in their body they, their body is not distinguished into head thorax and abdomen they have many segments present in their body and as they have many segments each segment of their body has one to two pairs of the legs present as you can see this millipede you can see many segments are found it is like earthworm right many segments are there and each segment of this millipede has the legs present in it so these millipedes have many legs found in it like millipede and centipede they both have one to two pairs of the legs present in it as it is you can see it's written there centipedes have one pair of the leg in each body while millipedes have two pairs of the leg in each segment now the next class which we come on to the next phylum is the phylum mollusca phylum mollusca they are called as soft bodied animals soft body because they don't have any exoskeleton outside their body but they are the shelled animals they have shells present in their body the member of mollusca are snail the oysters the octopus you must be thinking that they have imam said that they have shells present in their body but octopus don't have shell no octopus also has a shell but the thing is the shell of the octopus is placed internally an octopus has internal shell found in its body while snail and oyster have the shell on their outer body all the mollusks are marine it means they will be found in sea and in ocean they are not fresh water some of the mollusks are found in the moist uh, moist area and uh, the uh, the mollusk which is found in the moist area that is the snail the snail is generally found in the moist area it is not found inside the ocean so in seas after this they have segments present in their body 
their body they don't have segments their body is unsegmented like uh, orthopods were having a segment they have a thorax and abdomen like this one this body is not distinguished it is not divided into head thorax and abdomen they don't have segments in their body they just have a hard shell present on them snails have a coiled shell on the back oysters have a flat shell within which they are enclosed and octopus has a shell inside its body after this these mollusks have a special feature that is they have muscular foot for locomotion they have muscular foot they can locomote easily from one place to another because of their foot the foot in their uh, body is made up of muscles as you can see the octopus has so many appendages see this octopus has so many appendages octopus has so many appendages it has the suckers present in these appendages which are made up of the muscles which help them in locomotion after this the next file which we are going to begin with that is the cicadita which is the last invertebrate file this is the last invertebrate and they are called spiny skinned animals why they are called spiny skinned animals because they have the spines present on their body you can see this image they have spines made of uh, calcium or some kind of uh, material so they these are kind of the examples are starfish and sea urchin they are spiny skinned animals they don't have tail they don't have segmentations in their body they don't have hair they don't have thorax they don't have abdomen Ha, they have a special feature for the locomotion that are called as vascular appendages. In, as you can see, starfish has appendages. These have a tube-like structure which absorbs the water and tighten their body so that they can move easily from one part to another part. So the, these are the, uh, the animals who have vascular food for locomotion. Some of the echinoderms locomote and some don't. Sea urchin mostly don't show the locomotion, like right? starfish shows the locomotion. Sea urchin shows the locomotion only in the favorable condition. When the uh, condition is unfavorable, when it requires food, when it requires go for the reproduction, then only sea urchin shows the locomotion, while others don't show the locomotion. So, this is the table given in your book in which different invertebrates are given and their special characters are given with the examples. These invertebrates, porifera, the special character, they are the pore bearing animal. Cilindrata, the examples are sponges, cycling spongula, you spongula. Next one, that is cilindrata. Cilindrata have only sac like body. The examples, hydra, sea animal, jellyfish, and all the uh, phylums have a special character. Platyhelminthes, they have, they are the flat bone, their body is flat or ribbon like. Nematyhelminthes, they are the round bone, their body is round. Annelida, they are the segmented worms, true segmented worms, they have the true segmentation present in their body. Also, both they have jointed limbs present in their body and they have a chitinous exoskeleton. This chitinous exoskeleton is made of a protein. This is a kind of a protein which is present, which forms the exoskeleton of their body. Next are the mollusca. Mollusca are soft bodied animals and they have shells present on their body. Chinoderms, they are spiny, spiny skinned animals and they have a vascular foot for locomotion. Now, we are coming on to the checkpoint number one here in your book. The checkpoint number one that is animals without the backbone. The animals without the backbone are invertebrates. These animals are invertebrates. Next, animals having poles all over the body. The animals which have poles all over the body are polyphera. Next, animal belonging to phylum platyhelminthes are called as flat worms. Animal belonging to platyhelminthes are flat worms. Next, animals having three pairs of legs. They have, they are insects. Insects have three pairs of legs present in their body. Next, excretory organ of the segmented worm. The excretory organ of segmented worm is the 
nephridia we have read before that the nephridia is a segment this is the excretory organ found in annelida and annelida are the segmented worms so nephridia is the excretory organ present in these segmented worms i hope all the answers are clear to everyone the animals without the backbone are invertebrates animals having pores all over the body are polypora animal belonging to phylum platyhelm and these are flat worms animal having three pairs of the legs are insects and excretory organ of segmented worm is nephridia so this is the end of the group invertebrate the invertebrates are now end so all the eight kind of the invertebrates have been explained if any problem to anyone please come with your queries on my portal now we are coming on to the next group of the animals that is the vertebrates vertebrates are the animals who have vertebral column present in their body they have backbone present in their body they have been divided into five classes there are five classes of the vertebrates first pisces second amphibia third reptilia fourth apes and the last one is mammalia so there are total overall five classes of the vertebrates all the vertebrates are going to have tail present in their body see you can see the tails all the vertebrates are going to have tails present in their body all the vertebrates are going to have two pair of the appendages one two three there are two these are two fins so there are two pairs of appendages present in the vertebrates vertebrates have a vertebral column present in their body and their body is segmented their body will be divided into different parts we have segments in our body we human beings also have segments in our vertebral column we can see see our fingers we have segments one two three segmentation is present in our body vertebrates are going the body is going to be divided into segments now the first vertebrate which we can see that is the pisces pisces are the fishes pisces live in the water we all know they are found in fresh water also they are found in marine water also they are found in sea in the ocean everywhere Pis pisces everybody know that they swim by the help of fins they have a tail present in their body pisces breathe through gills they have a gills for respiration Pisces have scales present on their body to provide them protection as they live inside the water. So, to provide them protection from the water, they have the uh, uh, the scales present on their body, and their scales are made up of protein. Their scales are made up of protein, and which is also a kind of exoskeleton which provide protection to their body. In the fishes, there are many fins for the locomotion as you can see in your book the labeling has been, has been done the first one is the lateral fin these lateral fin help in the movement of body the up backward and forward these lateral fin help in movement of body forward and backward up it is the dorsal fin the dorsal fin and the anal fin they are responsible for maintaining the balance of the body inside water while swimming if these these are the two fins which provide balance to their body next is the caudal fin or the tail fin this caudal fin or the tail fin act as a propeller which helps in changing the direction in moving right or the left or moving upward or the downward this act as a propeller in changing the direction and help the body of the fish to move forward now the special feature of the fishes that is the operculum this operculum is present in the fishes for covering the gills so that unnecessary unwanted water should not enter inside the body of a fish now these fishes also have a bony skeleton present inside their body now you can see a special feature that is fishes have a board like body which is pointed from the ends and broader from the center this is called as streamlined body and the function of streamlined body is to prevent the resistance of water while swimming the resistance of the water which is produced by swimming in the body of fish that is reduced by the streamlined body
The streamlined body is also found in birds to reduce the resistance of the air while flying. Like in the same way, the resistance of the uh, fish's body is reduced by the streamlined body. You must have seen a boat or a ship moving on a water. When the ship or a boat moves, the water which comes in front diverts, it cuts from in front. So that is the, the cut of the water which is there. That is because of the streamlined body. The streamlined body helps in reducing the friction of the water while swimming. After this, we all know that fishes breathe through gills. Fishes also have a developed brain and heart present in their body. The two, there are two chambered heart present in the body of fish. Two chambers means the first auricle and the ventricle. Only two chambers are there. One auricle, one auricle and one ventricle. As we have read in class 6 that in humans the heart is a four chamber. Two auricle and two ventricle. There four chamber heart are there. But in the fish there are only two chambers. One auricle and one ventricle. Examples which you can see that is cattle, shark, sea, all these all are the fishes, but the, uh, some are freshwater and some are marine water. The cattle is a freshwater fish, while others, roe is a freshwater fish, while others are the marine water fish. So, this is the end of the topic for today. Now, on the next term, we will begin on the, my next lecture. I will begin with the next body branch that is amphibia, reptilia, apes and the mammal. I will tell about them in my next lecture. So for regarding this, this lecture you will get an assignment. Kindly do it and if you have any query, any problem come to it on my portal. Thank you.